Department of Transport. We have four interactions a year on a quarterly basis, but obviously over the two peak periods, that being Easter and the festive holiday season over Christmas, is a very close tie where there's joint planning. And obviously, MEC Tequana invited me here to come to Craft Renette because the, the big traffic flow will start from Cape Town this afternoon overnight and we will be checking on our side and obviously she will be checking on the Eastern Cape side as well with reciprocal trips as well. So it's very important that there's joint planning between our respective departments. What we're really about is to try and improve the road safety record. Um, last year in the Western Cape we lost 258 people uh, from the 1st of December to the 31st of January 2016. So we obviously want to substantially reduce that number this year. And we're focusing really on four areas. We're focusing on speed, um, alcohol and roads don't mix, and then distracted driving and fatigue. And why Craft Renette is so important in this link with the N9 and the R61 to Beaufort West is that the drivers that we saw this morning at the roadblock just outside Craft Renette, you can see they're tired, they've driven through the night. Most of the taxis, I'm pleased to say with our partnership with Santaco, have a second driver. So at least there's a backup driver to make sure that drivers don't get too fatigued they don't fall asleep behind the wheel and endanger the lives of their passengers. Apart from um, the big roadblocks that we, like the one that we've seen this morning, that started at half past four this morning, what are some of the initiatives that um, transport will take part in uh, within the Western Cape to try and, um, you know, have, make sure that there's more uh, visibility in terms of traffic officials and um, just to monitor the situation, as we've already alluded, the numbers increased instead of decreasing in terms of fatalities on the road. Our key this year is pedestrians and alcohol. We've just launched an Abu Dukati television program from the 1st of December, which is a sorcery advertisement because most of the young pedestrians dying on our roads are between the ages of 19 and 29. And we find that from the morgue, that 61% of them have got ethanol in their blood. In other words, they've been drinking. So it's the old story that alcohol and roads don't mix. It doesn't matter if you're a driver or whether you're a pedestrian, but it can lead to fatal circumstances. So we're going into our hotspot area we know where the other pedestrian fatalities have taken place and we're going to be targeting and doing education in those areas, encouraging people to be responsible around our node road network. Thank you so much for your time, sir. Pleasure. Well, there we have it. The latest update that we have from you here in Krafrenet is that alcohol and roads don't mix. And it doesn't matter if you are a driver, a passenger, or if you're just walking on the streets. Alcohol and uh, the roads definitely don't mix. But for now, it's back to you guys in the studio. Our EV we're at that at that launch rather. Well, the SABC News team in New York will be named joint silver medal winners in the broadcasting category of the United Nations Correspondent Association Awards to be held tomorrow night. Correspondent Sean Bryce Peace and videographer Aaron Berger's silver medal is a notch up from the bronze they received in 2014 for the Ricardo Ortega Memorial Prize for Television and Radio. The 21st UNCA Award Gala includes as guest of honor outgoing UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon, while the UN Messenger of Peace and actor Leonardo DiCaprio will receive the 2016 UNCA Global Citizen of the Year Award. Bryce Peace has covered a range of stories with his trademark and unique delivery from New York. Thank you, Malachi. Okay. His dedication to investigative journalism has led to the achievement of this prestigious award. His work has been infused with passion for human rights stories. This is the second award for the SABC team at the UN in New York. In 2014, the team won bronze. And a year on, the team has earned a higher accolade. SABC News' winning report covered new research by the London School of Oriental and African Studies that discovered pivotal contributions that women of the South made in inscribing equal rights of women and men in the UN Charter during the San Francisco conference that birthed the document in 1945. The role of Brazilian delegate Bertha Lutz 
who led a group of Latin American women, was critical in including Article 8 of the Charter that says the UN shall place no restrictions on the eligibility of men and women to participate in any capacity in the organs of the United Nations. From all of us here at SABC News, thank you for watching. Saudi SABC News, Johannesburg. A look at some international news when we come back after the break. Failure to implement the water restriction is going to make the system not workable. For the domestic use, everyone should not exceed 25 kilolitres per day. What is the penalty and, and how much have you raked in thus far as a municipality? For domestic users, if they uh, exceed 25 kilolitres, then they're going to be charged a penalty on their monthly bill. And so far already we've collected 1.7 million. The 200 million rand state-of-the-art school in Mahalisburg had been vandalized by drug addicts. How bad is it? It's very bad. In today, hostel residence, it was even worse. Mm. Because uh, there the doors, the wardrobes, the beds, the ceiling were broken down. Showers were ripped off and uh, mm -hmm. it couldn't be used by, by, by students uh, who are actually using uh, that particular boarding facility. Yeah. Hopes are returning that a planned evacuation of rebel-held parts of the Syrian city of